Representatives from a wide cross-section of organizations at a recently concluded conference in Montego Bay, St. James, walked away confident they are better positioned to engage heads of government on a number of major issues critical to their development. Everybody have a right to believe what they want. Because if I want to be a teacher, and I say that I'm going to be a teacher, that is my right to be a teacher. And if I want to be a sex worker, I have a right, just like the teacher, the magistrate, whoever, the minister, the prime minister, I have a right to be sex worker. Openly declaring that sex is their work, a growing population of women and men throughout the Caribbean putting up a fight. We have persons who drop out of school. We have the transgender people who can't be themselves in school, who can't be themselves in communities. And they push them away. The family push them away. And where do they turn? The only thing that they could do is sex work. These sex workers are now riding on a new high, the Mobay Declaration through which they will unanimously speak. This declaration was done by sex workers from across the region who all face the same struggle and we agreed on this declaration and mean to use it to our best ability. Included in this advocacy tool is the strong rejection of discrimination which they say forces them to lie about their job description. We're not comfortable doing our jobs because for the past two years, we find that the hate for sex workers, the crime is arising against sex workers. We, the, and that is what causing all the killing, the beating, and all of this because there is no law to protect us. They are therefore calling for guaranteed justice and an end to physical assault from clients, arrests, extortion and outright disparity for appearing different. We demand from the states of the Caribbean that they create laws and policies that protect all transgender people against stigma and discrimination, violence and hate crimes. That the government assure that all transgender members could be able to select their personal identifications or personal documentation accordingly with their gender identity and their free expression. Selling sex should not be a crime and access to unconventional health services including mobile clinics should not be denied is their position. We are strongly asking, demanding, begging and saying to our governments to ensure that the practice of compulsory HIV testing for sex workers to work should stop and stop immediately. In their decree, they are adamant sex workers must be led by sex workers. Hence, we demand that Caribbean states end all discriminatory legal, social and religious practices that target sex workers their families, partners, colleagues, clients, and anyone associated.